at some somewhere along the way because you think about it even if it, even just the coaches right so like they go to the level one and then they do their level two and then they maybe do the kids which are my top three in the crossfit or as courses i think people should take well, and, I mean, and and then they four, and then it's just like as well right you have yeah, your level yeah, four. yeah yeah you level four dungeon master which is what you are the the at some point they're just like oh, i don't need to learn anymore like i'm good like i'm good enough and like well that's a problem and it's it's so you there's parallel parallels in both coaching and the affiliate ownership and at some point like there's a there's a mind mindset shift there where it goes from hey i'm gonna i'm gonna consume all the information i'm gonna get better i'm gonna invest in whatever way i can i'm gonna sell my car i'm gonna do whatever and i'm gonna make this happen um and typically that that block is happening at the most pivotal point when like you they're like at the point where they like need to make a change and this negative mindset shifts and, and takes over and be like, no, we'll just, we'll just continue doing what we're doing. Like, it's fine. We'll figure it out. And it's like, but how, how is my question? What are you doing either with yourself or with your business or with your coach development that is going to get you out of this funk where nobody ever has an answer. They're just like, well, we're just going to, we're figure it out. I'm like, That's not an answer. Right. Yeah, and I think I think a lot of what you're saying is just the concept of how you do one thing is how you do anything. I would question if these same people that aren't growing from a coaching perspective or a box owner pers- pers- perspective do so in their everyday life. And not to you know say I'm the best at this or not, but you and I are constantly reading, constantly trying to learn more, constantly listening to educational podcasts. You know. I talked about like, hey, a successful day is like I worked out, I ate right, got some good sleep, spent some time with the family. But also for me, it's also did I did I learn something? And sometimes that something is a book I'm reading. Sometimes it's a YouTube video. But I think for a lot of people, we forget that. Like we have to be in a constant pursuit of growth as a coach and as a human being. And but for you, but for yourself is where I'm going with this, right? And and I think. I would largely, there's a strong correlation between the introduction of Facebook ads into the gym world and people's hesitancy with regard to spending money or investing it in different places, right? Because on the Facebook ad, it's like, where's my return on the Facebook ad? Like, where is it? Like, I, if I spent this much, I need to get back this much in, in, in this amount of time. And you and I both know, and, and most of the people that we, in the circles that we run know that like personal development is not an immediate return. It's not. It personal development could take three months. It could take six months. It could take a year. It could take eight months. I spent money, time, and effort years ago that it's just coming back to. Like right. And you know, even even you and I, like peek behind the scenes. We don't always. I don't say we don't get along, but we butt heads. We have dif- disagreements. We have different views. And if this were two thousand seven, I would have been like, "F this guy. I can do it better on my own," or whatever. You know. And, and the point is, as we've developed over the years, you realize maturity and, and, and empathy and, and listening and all of these other skills come with that. And if you're not speaking that out, spending money to do it, you're, you're going to stifle your own growth, not just as a person, but with, with your business, with your affiliate. And here, here's what I want. I want gym owners and coaches, I want you to make an investment in yourself. Like somewhere, I'd pick where you're going to do it. I don't care. Like it doesn't matter to me. Like pick where you're going to do it and make an investment. And I want you to do it absent of this idea of return, right? Because the idea of return means like I'm doing this with the expectation of like, it's somehow going to give me something in, instead of thinking about like, what am I going to learn? What skills am I going to develop from sitting in this workshop or this seminar or whatever this is that I'll figure out how to use later? Because you buy a hammer doesn't mean the house, right? I buy a hammer and then I learn to swing a hammer and then I learn to frame and then I learn to do other things, right? That doesn't mean that just because I bought a hammer, be like, I buy a hammer, be like, well, I sh- I'm a house builder now. Where's my money? Well, it's not how it works. You have to learn the skill set to use the tool that you've been given. That is where I would like people to, to move towards. You know, just because you get on seminar staff doesn't mean that you're the world's greatest coach. It's just like, cool, I'm here. And then you realize you're like, it's a long way to even get halfway up this mountain that I thought I was climbing. You're just like, I'm years out from even being considered 
a good coach in this group of people. 